thinking about doing this. Um, so we've been watching a bunch of videos and looking at a lot of boats. And today we found out that banks don't like doing loans for boats. So when we decide to sell our house, yeah, we better get enough money out of it to pretty much buy our boat cash. So, hey. yes. what had happened was, we bought an RV. Yeah. So the house sold a lot quicker than what we thought. Um, went on the market on a Saturday, and on Tuesday we had an offer, and they asked us to close as quick as possible. So, so we took it. We took it. Because we're ready for the dream. Yeah. And, um, but we don't have a house. Yeah. And it's the beginning of hurricane season, so we can't really get good insurance because we can't get out of the little box fast enough. So we thought, what if we get an RV and we'll try 50-50? We never even tried that, so why not? Yeah, because there's a lot of places. I mean, we've been to a lot of places around the United States. A lot of states, a lot of places. And we just never, there's a lot more that we can go to. A lot of things we haven't done. So it's like, screw it, we'll do 50-50. We'll do half in the RV and half in the sailboat. Yeah, let's try that. What could go wrong? Yeah. So we had a lot of people ask us a lot of questions. And um, people were asking us, they've been asking us for an intro video. So, ta-da! This Yay! is our intro video. <laughs> yeah. If you have, if you're not doing so already, every Wednesday we post a blog in Blogger. You <clears> can't really um, follow it if you have an account. If when you read ours, I guess it automatically follows us. But if you don't have an account, you don't have to. You can still read them, and I'll we'll post the link below. Yeah, we'll post the link in the description, and um, we'll also post the link for Facebook, which is where we every time. Uh, the we most up to date. Yeah, uh, Facebook is definitely going to be more up to date because our videos may be, some of the videos that we're going to do are going to be a month or two behind, especially like <clears throat> for some of the RV renovations and stuff like that that we did um, that are actually really, really cool and how far along it came. So those are going to be really awesome. The, um, just stuff like that. All right, so what we're going to do is there were people who asked us questions mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, so these are actually, we took some of the ones that we thought were going to be good intro questions about who we are. That wine is not good. <laughs> this is Maddie's wine face when she tastes a bad wine. <laughs> well, it's not going to go to waste. Well, she's not going to waste it. I mean, we don't believe in alcohol abuse, so we're not going to waste it. Oh, it's just awful. I'm glad I have one more. <laughs> All right. After this one, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you some questions. Yeah. And it's going to be questions that I got from some people. Uh -huh. that kind of just wondering he's going to give a good background of okay. why we're doing what we're doing. That sounds good. Right. That sounds fun. What's up? Alright, so question number one was why the name not vanilla? What, is, what does that mean, not vanilla? Okay. Um, so to me, not vanilla means out of the norm. So everybody expects a base, right? And usually it goes with vanilla. But I am not vanilla at all. So, I'm also a baker, so I like the play with words. Um, and I thought it would be fun that our followers would be swirls. It's part of our lifestyle to not be vanilla. And the second question that I got asked, I think we already touched on that, was... I thought you wanted to buy a sailboat. Why did you get an RV? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, we definitely could have stayed at our friend's house. They they had everything set up for us. We had a very, uh, our own room, our own bathroom. It was very comfortable. And I love it. It really was like having a sleepover every day. Yeah, it and they're really, fun. really cool people to yes. hang out with on top of that. So we hang out with them, we have dinner, we got home from work, and then you get to hang out some more and all this stuff. But I haven't been with anyone other than us in our home 
in our in our happy place um, since I was 18, 19. So it just <clears throat> felt weird, you know. I I wanted to still keep the independence. Part of living the dream is that we were gonna do this and get outside of our comfort zone. And it was it was the easy way out the way I saw it. You know, we could have taken our time and fix things at our leisure and before we know it it's probably gonna be six, seven months and we're still fixing things and not living in it. That's not why we did this. We want to be in it. We need to rip it like a band aid or something. Yeah, just rip it like a band aid. Yeah. Like go big or go home. Okay. We're doing little things on the weekend. It was taking twice as long. So even though we're not done with all the renovations, we decided that it was livable enough that we can live in it and still be uncomfortable enough <laughs> that we want to continue fixing those things. And yes. we wanted to tape everything. So you may see me cry, you may see me laugh, you may see me ah. Yeah, you'll but. see me curse a couple times for sure, telling her to turn the camera off when I can't fix something. Well, right, so, because if you would have done it the first time, how I told you, it would have been done right. But it's okay. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, <laughs> all right, and the last question was, um, how does the whole selling the house and getting the RV or boat and or both match with what your passion is? Mm. <clears throat> That's a good one. I think I'm the most passionate about meeting new people and having relation with different people. Like I wanna know people from every part of the world. I really, really love languages. I love teaching, I love learning. And what's the better way? Like I can do a land and sea with both. So, yeah, I, mean, I may be naive right now, but to me, this is the best. I can do it at land and sea. I can meet so many people. I can, I can learn. I can teach. I, I'm really, really good at keeping up with people. I know a lot of people for many, many years. I love relationships, you know. I, I, I keep up with friends. I love hanging out with them. So, to be able to do that in land and sea matches my passion of wanting to connect with as many people as possible. Okay. So what were your questions? Oh. Um, so <clears throat> I'll start with the obvious. What is <laughs> not vanilla to you? Ooh, um, all right, so I have to remember our friends that are vanilla and our family members are gonna be watching this as well as some of our kids. So, mm, vanilla is plain, boring, just a base. Like, where you start from. Not really anything special or spectacular. No special qualities. Mm, for the most part, kind of boring. I mean, now, don't get me wrong, we met some pretty phenomenal friends that we consider vanilla, but our not vanilla friends are probably some of the most interesting people we've ever met in our lives. And some of our lifelong friends and some of our closest friends are not vanilla. Yeah. And um, We want to go bungee jumping. Yeah, bungee jumping, we want to run naked down a beach, you know, stuff like that. Those are our not vanilla friends. Our vanilla friends are going to be like, oh my god, I'm not even coming out of the resort if that's what you're going to be doing today. So, so a lot of our best friends we've had, you know, have, have been like that. Because can, you can be who you want to be around them. You don't have to worry about putting on a facade or putting on... Am I going to say something that somebody's going to take the wrong way? Because most of our not vanilla friends are more confident in who they are. They don't they don't get offended. So uh, that's what it means to me. Cool. So knowing what you're good at and what your passion was, 
how is the RV and the boat gonna be good for the world? Oh, what? good for the world? <laughs> okay, you had to specify that part. Because what I'm best at is I fix stuff. I can fix pretty much anything. I mean, Ooh, even... I'm glad those were empty. I told you, this one's much better. Much better. So I can fix pretty much anything. Oh, so the this boat... is the Skywalker. Skywalker? Delicious. Yes, delicious. You like Skywalker, right? That's I like Luke Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker. Oh, Leia. same. Skywalker. Anyway, um, so I fix stuff. So being in the boat and the RV are great for me. I think that there's a lot of places that we can go in the world that um, need skills for people who can fix things. And and it doesn't mean that you always know how to fix everything. Like. Like, I didn't know how to do a lot of things when I started doing them. But I have a mechanical mindset set in the sense that I can look at something and be like, I can take it apart and like, oh, this is how it goes back together. Oh, this part is broken. Oh, I just need to replace this part. And then I know how to put it back together and make it work. You know, things like fiberglass. And, you know, there's people who are going to need help working on their small engines and stuff for some of their boats, their fishing boats, and just stupid stuff. I'm going to be able to fix things and just do stuff. I think that's how I'm going to be able to make an impact with the skills that I have. Okay. So, if what you're saying is that if somebody's awning breaks, you will be okay helping them fix it? Well, I mean, they're going to owe me a beer. For sure. But yeah. <laughs> I can do that blindfolded now. <laughs> you learn a lot. Yeah, a yeah. Lot. When you, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't record all of that, but some of it we did, and there was a lot of cursing involved and a yeah, lot of banging. Yeah, our video would have been like beep, 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 beep. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to beep, understand anything. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, beep, that yeah. would be our video. It would sound like EPS truck backing up. Anyway, so what's your last one? How are you gonna be able to still be a boba and a dad? if we're traveling and doing all this stuff. Oh. Because they're going to always... We're, one, we're going to never be that far. There may be some times where we're going to be that far. Like, yeah, we have long-term goals to go and cross the Pacific. And, you know, we want to go to Indonesia and uh, French, French Polynesia. Polynesia. Sorry. Australia, you know, the Mediterranean. I mean, we really want to go to a bunch of different places. It is going to take us far away. However, we're going to be able to, you know, have them on board. And I think that the skills that they're going to learn by us, you know, like, like I, my dad was a great man. My dad was a phenomenal human being. and He taught me a lot of different things. But I learned a lot of stuff from my grandparents who weren't trying to raise me. They were teaching me life skills. Like my granddad taught me how to work on a tractor. My granddad taught me how to um, taught me how to like hunt. You know, chop wood, trees. Hold that up. No way. We don't see people. Oh. So my granddad's the one who taught me a lot of those things because he wasn't busy trying to raise me. You know, he was actually spending time with me, teaching me life skills that I that I grew up and I remember. You know, and and part of the reasons why I can work on some of the things that I can work on. So they're going to learn things from us and being on on the boat. And you know, as much as we love this, you know, creating this content and everything like that and documenting everything, a big part of it is when we when we you know cast off, we're going to be. It forces you to be disconnected. You're not every day checking your phone a hundred times a day. You don't feel like you have a phantom vibrate in your pocket because, oh shit, did my phone just get a text message? There I'm pretty sure he just dated himself. That happened when we had beepers. No, you my phone. Carry them. My phone still oh. vibrates. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, my phone still vibrates. Did he poke you so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so but it's like it's stuff like that. It's like you you're forced to be disconnected. And I think that it's going to show them one of the biggest things that it took us all this time to figure out is, yeah, we had 
the 3,800 square foot house and the two brand new cars and two brand new motorcycles and lived in a prestigious neighborhood. But for what? All we ever did was work to pay for it all. It shows them that if you have a passion, you don't have to be tied to the rat race. You can just go and do what you want to do. So as of today, that's the theory. Yes. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Stuff so like I hope we answered some of your questions on who we are, why not vanilla matters. And I'm out of my wine flight, so I think it's time to move on. Yeah, let's move on. I hear Africa place. calling me. Do you miss the rains over in Africa? I do. Okay. All right. So anyway, so you guys just uh, my life, guys. I know you're jealous. Bye. All right. Love so, y'all. Like, subscribe. Yeah. And we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.